gonna go through a couple stretches here. I always play around in the mornings and just feel where my body's tight from the previous day's training um, or whatever stresses I'm kind of holding. Today it's a lot of my legs, a lot of hip flexor, hamstring, uh, groin area stuff. So I'm gonna work through just a few things, a little flowing, a flowing circuit here. Uh, feel free to follow along if you so choose. I like to start in a plank. Okay, so here I can kind of assess my um, my calves and the back of my knees. So up in that area, if I'm running, if I'm doing any long distance cycling, um, I'll feel it there. So I may just even from this plank just do some light pedaling. So I drop that knee, okay, drop this knee, and I'll just kind of flow, but not in a real hurry. <clears throat> Adjusting my toes position might even lift a few seconds and from here we'll press into downward dog if you're super tight just get up on your toes so you can extend the hamstrings if you're flexible you can keep those feet flat uh, it just depends what your lifestyle has in store for you and you can pedal from here too pressing that heel down I say pedal, I meaning we're putting all the pressure in the straight leg to the left, the bent leg. From here, we come forward, and you come forward, you should drop your knees. And just stretch, kind of rotate. Super tall. I mean, tall, it's like top of the head, so I'm not here. I'm reaching my head up. Toes back under, roll back into the plank. Back from here, I'm going to take and move my right hand um, in a little bit. Left leg on the outside of that right hand. Now, now if I want, I can go back over or stay in between, either or. But from here, I start to feel it, my hip flexor a little bit, okay? Hamstring, um, wherever you're tense, you're tense. And I can also kind of press forward up into that toe if I want, or I can let it pull back. Okay, if I let it pull back, I feel it where the hammy hamstring connects kind of with the glute, that hip complex. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop my left knee, move my right foot out a little bit. Okay, so what that did is it created space between those knees. A little bit of extra space now. I can pull that right knee out a little bit. I can press it out too with my right elbow if I'd like. And just stretch a little bit. So actively now, my left leg, I'm pulling that knee back and I'm resetting it on the ground, okay? By doing that, it just gets a little deeper stretch in that hip flexor, the front of the thigh. Now here I can lean forward just a tad bit. Stretch. So hold that position. Rotate a little bit, I can twist to my right. Bigger stretch in the groin on the right side, but also in the hip flexor, just by, just by turning a little bit. Now the progression here, okay, is to move the heel back or the knee forward. I'm gonna move the knee forward a little bit. Place my right hand on my thigh. Now as I come up, as I come up, I'm gonna grab foot top of the foot if your quads are tight this is intense and I may place that hand down here okay stretch so it adds the quads into the stretch I can move that foot where I want it if I want to walk it out a little bit more hamstring in that front leg I can sit here and just chill and let things stretch now my quad and my left leg is tight so I'm gonna hold this a little bit The longer you sit and hold these positions, the more release you're going to get. Um, so don't, it's not like yoga where you're trying to get out of a position and just flow um, in most forms of yoga. And it's not like yin yoga where you're in a, a non-active position. Here it's pretty active. I'm holding my foot. Um, again, lots going on here. My mind is active because I'm feeling it in so many different areas. Still feel it in my right hamstring, left hip flexor, left knee. I can even pull that 
my foot out a little bit and just to feel how the quad tension is or even where it attaches up here in my hip. I'm gonna let it down, relax a little bit. And as I do that, I'm gonna sink back. I want you to sink back, keep that heel pulling. We're gonna stru stretch that hamstring here a little bit. So my hands come down. I can modify, move my chest over if I'd like. I wanna keep my toes up a little bit. Exhale stretch. With this, I'm feeling it um, right through the middle of that hamstring, nice and low. It's just stretching. Okay, slide back forward just to give it a little break and then pull back into it. Do this three times. Active stretching. Here, I'm going to reset. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to face you. I'm going to go wide with my knees, okay? So I'm wide with my knees. And I'm going to kind of sink into this groin stretch here. I'm using my hands to kind of take some of that weight, but I'm going to let my body sink into it. So what I do there is I pull my hips forward a little bit and then let them slide back. So it's a very gentle movement, but I'll let them release. If I look at my, he my heels or my ankles, I want to make sure they're in alignment with my knees. I don't want to pull them way out here, okay? Torque that knee. So my knee is here, ankle is here, my toes are resting out to the side. Okay, knee and ankle in alignment here. If I look at my hips, knee and hip are in alignment. I'm not pushing my hips back really far. That can kind of flare up the groin a little too much. Um, but I'm taking the weight with my hands as needed. I'm just gonna sit here for a few seconds. Really relax on the exhale. a little bit just to feel that stretch I've held this as long as five six seven minutes before we're just gonna kind of touch base with it you can hold it longer if you'd like Rotate back. I'm going to touch back in with my plank. Okay, right here. We worked that right leg pretty good, so now we're going to pull that left leg. I'm just going to move my left hand in a little bit, make some room. Left leg comes in. We're in that lunge stretch, runner's lunge. I'm starting to feel that hamstring right away. Okay, right in here. and with my hands, I'm always thinking about my big toe and my thumb there, um, especially with the foot. The big toe is, is your stabilizer. It's where your balance is. So when you're doing this stuff, make sure you're feeling that big toe and where it's connected. We'll drop the knee, okay? Nice and easy in this position. Now from here, I'm gonna walk the knee out a little bit to the right. Ooh, opens up the groin area. Taking the foot, top of my foot, laying it down. Okay, so from here, I may press that knee out a little bit as I stretch. If I rotate, if I rotate, I move my hands a little bit too, and I look towards you, towards my left, it really opens up the groin. And then the hip flexor, flexor on the right side, if I, if I lean into it even more. So you can see if you don't stretch and you're active and you demand a lot out of your body, you just get tighter and tighter and tighter, okay?
do that when I lower my body, it makes it more intense stretch on my right quad. Okay, so that's just what I'm holding on my right side. If you like to move that foot around, I can rotate. You can feel things, you can move that left knee out. Every little movement, I feel it. I feel a new intensity, a new stimulus. stretch toe is up okay I'm always using my hands to take some of this pressure and just to feel stable so some people will you'll be tight right here and I'm just gonna go kind of find my edge so when it starts flaring I feel like it's a really good hot stretch to stay in that position and, you know don't be afraid to get around and feel Feel the body, feel where it's tense and tight, feel where things attach, just start to learn your anatomy, okay? Go forward a little bit, relieve some of that pressure. Back. Stretch, hold it. Forward again. Flexor on the right side, back out of it. Just back into plank a little bit. bottom pull back with the quads and toes Feet are tight pull back so active legs to press through shoulders stretch feels right to the knees up to the feet are down stretch Perfect. Namaste.